Well, apparently I'm here and uh, Dr. O'Connor is not here today. Maybe this afternoon. Um, so the secretary is going to check to see if there is an appointment for me. Um, if not, I'll be following Mark Evans. The lady made it pretty evidently clear that Mr. O'Connor is not supposed to be here to this morning, so or until later on this afternoon. And Mark Evans harassed me yesterday, ran around like a bunch of chickens with their fucking heads cut off, so that you could be here for 9:30 this morning. In fact, you were supposed to actually be here for 8 a.m. Yeah, this was apparently all booked. Apparently by Mr. all Mark booked. Mark Evans, Mr. Corporate Security. Rush, Mr. rush, Mr. rush, rush, Michael. rush. So here we are. We'll uh, wait a couple more minutes for the receptionist to get back, and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. Um, other than that, uh, we'll get on the phone and call Mr. Mark Evans. More WCB fucking bullshit. Mark Evans just a uh, ploy to he knew what he was doing and this is bullshit so let's hope this nice lady can figure out what we're doing and maybe we can go home today I ain't staying here for tomorrow I'm, no I'm if, if he's not here till this afternoon we're not staying because we'll miss the flight Where's that now? I don't know for sure because I don't usually work with him, but I'm going to find out and I'll call them. You wait here. I'll call We don't them have taxi transfers or anything like any that. We to were told by workers' I'll compensation to and meet there. That would be great. Yeah, but so I don't even know where his office is located. I, I have no the idea. Truth. The only stuff they gave me was for here to come here. To for, come here. Yeah, that yeah, was it. It's called in the morning. He's got patients booked, but they're in his office. Office. Okay. So let me oh, check. Isn't, isn't that nice? Please. That that would be. I don't think it's the first time it's happened. So that would be lovely. Yeah, Thank well, you. I just you find out the girls here know. Thank you. figured out that this was either at the office or here at GF Strong. And so if we find out that it's at the office, we're fucking out of here because we don't have taxi vouchers or no, anything like no that money. to go they over Vancouver. No and that's exactly Very what Very little fucking anything. They yeah. sent me here with anything. Yeah. Except nothing. the stupid itinerary that came in the mail or came by Loomis yesterday. Yeah. That's how rushed they are to get this done. Just rush, 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 rush. Well, we'll uh, wait and see what's up here and, and hopefully... Uh, We'll get somewhere, love. But we are here. It is now 10 o'clock or 10.15 in the morning. Mark Evans. Okay, you go to the bathroom, sweetheart. I'll figure out what's going on. See what you're doing to my husband? I'm just going to flip this around. Excuse me, let it pan out so you don't get the upper shot of my nose. Okay, so here we are. Um, Mark, um, my husband's been up for days. We've been doing this for days, and we flew here um, and up. We're up this morning at uh, 4.30 to get this done. Um, we got into Vancouver at 7.30 this morning, and here we are. Okay. business address and then ask him what he wants to do, okay? Okay, that would be lovely. So apparently she's going to be nice enough to call his office and see what uh, Dr. O'Connor wants to do. His office is over on 8th Street, wherever that is here in Vancouver. But you know what, that's your guys' game plan, right? To stress us, uh, him out and to wreck his life. So here we are. You're doing a damn good job of it. 
So, sweetie, she's just going to phone the doctor and see what he wants to do. I think if he can't make it here, we might as well just... I mean, he's on the other side of town. He's on 8th Street. I'm fucking out of here, man. I'm done with these people. I'm done with compensation. I'm done with them trying to fucking drive me nuts and kill me. You're not driving me to suicide. You're not driving me anymore at anything. You can take your fucking money, shove it up your fucking ass. I'm done. I'm done. I'm fucking done. They want to fucking play hard with me, that's it. I'm playing fucking hard. Okay, well, I'll um, wait for this lady here, sweetheart, and yeah, then uh, for a cigarette. we'll go. Very stressful, as you can see. Uh, Lawrence had just about all he can take, but Mark knows that. Thanks again for your help, workers' compensation. It's been great. I'm glad that I purchased this video camera with the last few hundred bucks that we had, because I have a feeling that it's going to show a lot of the abuse that you guys do to my husband. Thanks a lot. You know, the amount of stress in Lauren's life, he needed this. So uh, thank you. You know, just the icing on the cake to how incredibly abusive and um, unthoughtful and rude and condescending and malicious and fraudulent and abusive your guys' system is to injured workers, knowing full well after Hervé's meeting that you guys should not be pulling this shit on Lauren. But you guys do. Thank you. I appreciate it. Anyway, that's it. They will see you there. But I told them you have a problem with transportation to yeah, get there. Yeah, so, so they're going to talk. I said, why can't they just build WCB for it, right? Yeah. Pay for your cab when you get there and then build yeah. WCB for it. Yeah. So she's going to, his secretary that works here is upstairs. Yeah. So that's why she wasn't here. So they're going to talk. She's going to talk to Christine. And Christine's a nice girl. Her name's uh, Christine Richard. She's going to come down here. You just wait here and tell you what you should do. Okay. So Dr. O'Connor will see you. We just have to get you there now. Okay, okay, that's, that's, I'll... Because it's not that far away. It's only, you know, it's only like a couple miles away. So it won't take that long for you to get there, for one thing. But but what our taxi voucher, though, to get home is from here to the airport, not from there to the airport. And we have no money. Well, so can't that's... we change it there? No. <laughs> well, you'll have yeah, to figure out. We'll I'm going to gonna... Connors first. Well, I think what I should do is phone Mark Evans first to find out what is we should... Yeah, uh, yeah, he's the one Tell that him. set it all up yeah. and find out what's Tell going on first. The secretary said for sure she told him at that, his office. Uh, his office. Okay, fine. That's perfect. Thank yeah. you very, very okay. much. Okay. Now what we're going to do is apparently we're waiting down here at Dr. O'Connor's um, like office at GF, office GF Strong. That is correct. Mark Evans knew full well that the meeting was to be at his office. Um, the secretary even told him that, which is why we got that on tape over here, right? So it's, it's recorded. He screwed up. It's not, so, he didn't screw up. He no. did it on purpose. Yes. This he is did. all on purpose. I'm not delusional. No. I'm not fucking crazy. No. They're doing this to me yes, on purpose. Yes, they are. I'm doing it for the last four and a half fucking years, and I can't take it no more. I don't blame you, sweetheart. So do you, obviously, you want to carry on and go to this doctor? I don't um, give two fucks about this doctor. Okay, so what do you want to do? Do you want to go and tell Mark Evans to fuck off, or do you, and go to my sister's, or? What, so we can cancel our flight? Because that's exactly what he would fucking do. He would cancel our flight. Okay. Well, um, I guess we'll be giving the guy a call. Um, as soon as we can. And I'll have that recorded as well. Why don't we just go straight to his office? I think that would be a lovely idea, too. Since we're in Vancouver and all.